I like what um, Ambrose Redmoon said, that courage is not the absence of fear. Courage is the judgment that what you want is more important than your fear. I used to be intimidated by people because they had more education, because they had more money, because they had credentials, because they had contacts, because they had four-color brochures, because they had books and I didn't have all these things, because they had infomercials and they had television exposure and I didn't have all those things. But the judgment that providing for my family was more important than my feeling inferior, more important than my fears, the judgment that I have to control my future. The judgment that I want to be able to take care of my mother, that when my mother becomes ill, I want to be in a position to do more and just pray for her. Oh no, whatever she needs, medically, I will be able to write the check. The judgment that my children would have a choice to go to the college of their choice to give them a competitive edge in the future. The judgment that, oh no, one day I'm going to be able to have vacations. I will go to Paris. I'll go to Tahiti. I will go to Jamaica. I will go to Hawaii, the judgment, I have more time for myself, the judgment that I'm going to secure my grandchildren's future and my great-grandchildren, the judgment of those things that make life worth living was more important than my fear. What is it that will make it worth it for you to face the rejections? What is it that will make it worth it for you to brainstorm and not be intimidated and say, I can do this. What is it that will make it worth it for you to raise the bar on yourself and say, I got some more stuff in me. Oh, I haven't even gotten my biggest deal yet. What is it that will make it worth it for you to go back to a customer who slammed a door in your face? What is it that will make it worth it for you to make know your vitamin that you become empowered by it? What is it that will make it for you when you want to give up? You can't buy a sale and things are working against you and you get close to making your numbers and then they double your quota. What is it? You've got a sales manager breathing down your neck. Don't give you the tools. Don't give you the resources that you need. You're working in a toxic environment and rather than working together, they're working against you. What is it that will make it worth it for you to get out of the car when you want to keep driving past the office because of the stress? What is it? That gives you the strength and the power. Got to sing on one of my tapes and life knocks you down. Try and land on your back because if you can look up, you can get up. What is it that will help you get back up again?